Yes, Wilmslow Golf Club. We're at their fantastic practice facility and we're going to start the morning off with PXG Gen 2 putters. I think we all recognise the importance of putting and uh, what a difference it can make to your round and uh, anybody watching me just a few days ago at the YouTube Golf Day will know that. I've got a few issues right now and I'm hoping that PXG can sort that out for me and the way they can sort that out is because we're going to look at six new putter heads, a variety of different shaft options and neck options more importantly, something that I feel comfortable with sat behind the ball. A combination of two things, getting a putter that sits nice, that rolls nice and ultimately gives you confidence in hole inputs is well worth the money. And at 435, they brought these, uh, that's UK pounds, they've brought this new range of putters back into another category where it starts to come in line with top end, don't get me wrong, it's in with Scotty Cameron, some with Toulon designs. But once again, it's a price drop from PXG. Question is, how do these products perform in the hands of the average golfer? And there's only one way to find that out. Let's get fit with Lawrence and see if he can put an end to my putting woes. Right, so we're going to get put in very, very soon here at Wilmslow Golf Club. But the first question, as ever, with any sort of custom fit that you go through with PXC, is they very much like to find a little bit about uh, your own personal stroke and what you like in terms of what you like to see sat behind the golf ball. And for me, in terms of putter, we've never done anything with Lawrence before on uh, or PXT on putters. And what I like is, first of all, in terms of a neckline, is more the sort of uh, plum neck, as they call it. And secondly, I've always been a sort of mallet style putter, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, a sort of straight back, straight through. At least that's the way I think I put. So we're just going to get set up, first of all, with a putter that matches what I like. Have a look at some performance on Trackman and then see if I, what I like actually suits my game or can we make some tweaks to make some improvements to my putting style. So let's get started. Right, so per first putter tested and uh, we didn't get off to too bad of a start but there are some changes that Lawrence feels like he can make and one of the things is we're going to look is to add some weight into the uh, head of the putter again I like to feel a lot of weight down at that putter end we're going to make some changes I'm going to go to the next style which is a gunboat again it's a mallet style putter um, some notable differences here but it feels like we can I'm finding the center of the putter face so not finding sort of uh, off center strikes he's going to put a little bit more mass and weight behind uh, directly behind the center of the club face itself and just see if we can produce a little bit better roll we need to get that ball past the hole because as you know without the ball going past the hole there ain't much chance from going in that came up a bit better yeah, yeah. Um, first thing to notice is the uh, I, I find it Easier to align with the bigger side line. Oh, why didn't you let me finish the sentence? <laughs> That's exactly right. Finish your sandwiches. Seriously, I was going to say the, the 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 first thing is the alignment. The straight, the thick, bold white line just seems a lot easier in terms of alignment. He 
even a blind squirrel occasionally catches an acorn, Andy. Well, if it was three, oh, if it, three if it was in three, a row, we go for it. We're retiring. <laughs> I like how it's packed the whole day. You know, I was just going to say the same thing again. It's just, uh, oh, it's not bad though. 3 4. 75% conversion rate. That's, that's decent, isn't it? As you can probably see, I managed to hold a few putts there and uh, considerable difference in terms of the roll. And the one big thing was, like I said, and the change that Lawrence made. And I always like to see whenever I do a custom fit of any sort, particularly with PXGs, when you make a change, you want to see those changes have a direct influence on the performance of the golf club. And what we've seen again here is that when I've changed this gumbo style, putting this extra weight directly behind the, the centre uh, element strike of the, uh, of the club face itself, then we've seen that better roll. Uh, I've certainly got more puts past the hole, and it seems to be, again, uh, a move that's been made that then makes sense when I've started to perform with the thing. So at the moment, a lot more positivity so it's the gumbo it's a lot heavier i think it's like 435 grams in this head possibly i think lawrence has said the heaviest putter that's out there on the market at the minute and a bit of counterbalance going on as well in the butt end right i've just asked lawrence can i try the mini gumbo which is exactly as you'd expect just a smaller version of what we've just tried that's all sight line is just that little bit thinner and obviously the overall profile just that little bit smaller as well see how this one gets on i think we'll have the same weight setup is that right yeah same weight option in there so we'll see how this one is in terms of uh, just from my own uh, personal experience i'd just like to try this other option as well and see how we get on but so far i've got to say that setup that we've just had I think it's going to be pretty hard to beat, to be fair. Initial thoughts? Um, it is quite a bit different. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether it's uh, different than I like it or not. It doesn't seem as stable. It won't be because you can't, the, the weights aren't separated out as much. It's not doing bad, to be fair. I mean, it's... Uh it's Sorry. a tough one that, to be fair, to be honest with you. It's a personal preference, really. Yeah. Because the loft wise and so on won't make any difference to roll or percentage of anything. No, I think for me, and if that camera is picking me up, I'm not sure, but for me, this slightly smaller profile just offered a little bit less stability in the backswing. I just felt as though it was just a little bit, maybe I was moving around a little bit, and again, it'd be down to my stroke, but that's what I was noticing. Maybe because the sight line's a little bit thinner, you can see it deviate more. Yeah. That's all I could say, but again. Draws your focus elsewhere? Maybe, maybe. I mean, we all three out of five, so percentage wise, again, and the ball was rolling past the hole as well. Yeah, so yeah exactly. And that'll be, the, to be doing. that'll be the increase in weight. Yeah. So we're just going to change, you're going to put some weight now into the... Uh, yeah, so uh, just go put the 50 gram super stroke counterbalance grip just in the top of the grip there. Screw straight in. All that's going to do, just allow you to just help and feel a little bit more release, release. through the putter. Okay. Yeah. three I think it's time to retire but um, I just want to I'm gonna carry on with this and just roll a few more puts in because I'm really interested uh, for those of you who've watched recent videos putting has been an issue for me and uh, I've swapped and changed between certain putters through all the different product testing we do and I've not really concentrated on something specific for me and that's what I've tried to use this morning for was get fit for something that suits my style I love this uh, plum neck, this is something I'm really partial to and I like a mallet style putter with plenty of weight and mass in their head and I like that stability, I think I'm a bit of a sort of straight back and straight through is what I try to do at least with putting. So we've ended up with a lot of mass in the head, 
bit of weight in uh, in the butt end of this uh, shaft as well and overall the combination seems to be re working really really well off the mill face i think it's a superb feel as you'd probably expect and that's something again very personal lots of mill face putters out there and i'm sure you've all tried them before and it's something uh, that you will uh, like or not but for me uh, very much something i like so this is the gunboat gen 2 lots of mass in that uh, head there i love this sight line let me just get see if we can get that in focus now that lined up against the ball it's quite a thick and it's quite a big bold white stripe and i really like that again and i found alignment very very good with it indeed and this morning at least i've managed to hold a few putts i'm going to carry on with this because i might just might end up having to put my hand in my pocket here yeah, feel all right yeah i do I, I so would. You're, you're you're heavier than any other putter on the market place over at 430 435 right. we've only ever been able to go up to 400 before yeah a more stable option, especially on short putts, it'll really make sure you get it past the hole. Now I'm going to end this video here because um Putter videos are very hard to film because I often feel they're very much a personal thing. Uh, they're very much subjective in terms of me being able to describe and explain what I'm getting from a putter because every chance that you'll feel something completely different than what I do. But what I would say is this, and I always say it with PXG, is their attention to detail is second to none. And their ability to custom fit and get this product right for an individual again is very much something different than what I've experienced in the past. Um, in terms of the putter itself, I really like what we've ended up with and I think that without doubt if you're looking for a putter There are so many options, so many variables in terms of both the head and the shaft options, the different weight options That surely there's got to be a putter in there for you as well So if like me, you've been struggling and you want a bit of a change, you want to try something a little bit different Don't forget, it's all no obligation this stuff give it a go you never know you might find something that works and I've got a funny feeling I'm going to give this gunboat to a bit of a run and you'll see it in the next course vlogs if I can get my old hands on one I'm going to start gaming this putter that's how much I liked it anyway as ever thank you for watching thank you to PXG thank you to Wilmslow Golf Club comments down below let me know what you think of these putters different price points again I think they're going to retail at 435 uh, so expensive putter but right back in that sort of now Scotty Cameron ballpark high end of the two long putters as well so once again PXG have come up with a product that sort of starts to compete in the sort of top end at least of mainstream golf comments down below see you soon I'm about to try the new PXG irons so uh, that's the next one up for me